So we're interested in two main questions. The first looks at whether people who move together bond together. So this kind of movement can be across lots of different sorts of activities. We call these activities social motion. The second question sort of flips things around a little bit and asks, do people perform better when they're in the presence of close and supportive others? And we've dubbed this the social placebo hypothesis. Previous research has shown that moderate intensity exercise but not low intensity exercise leads to higher levels of endocannabinoids in the body. Endocannabinoids have positive psychological effects and they've been linked with social bonding and cooperation. So we ran an experiment in which people rode side by side on rowing machines, either at a moderate intensity, so about at the pace of a jog, or at a low intensity, something like a walk. Following this, they played a game which measured how much they cooperate. What we found was that participants in the moderate intensity condition cooperated significantly more than those in the low intensity condition. So sharing the positive feel-good effects of moderate intensity exercise together may have led to more cooperative and positive relationships between the participants. So in the social placebo experiment, we wanted to find out how social bonds could influence performance in exercise context. With the Oxford University Rugby Club, we asked athletes to perform a high intensity running test and beforehand they warmed up either synchronously or asynchronously with a teammate. And it's a little bit like the cue of wearing the same shirt or singing the anthem. What we used was synchrony as like a cue for social support. We found that actually in the synchronous condition, um, athletes performed significantly faster in their running test, seven seconds in a four minute test. So it's a, a quite a meaningful result performance wise and may give a bit of a basis to that idea in high level sport that tightly bonded teams are better performing teams. There's a lack of research really looking at the causal mechanisms involved between social motion and social bonding and social well-being more generally. And social well-being of course feeds back into physical health um, so the more we understand how these things work, um, the more relevant and important and I think really quite valuable our research will be for a much wider audience and for society generally. To find out more and discover other bright ideas, visit Oxford University Social Sciences Division, where ideas have impact.